Halloween up on the hill. Fear mongering. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure uh, President Bush never fear mongered like this. I mean, <laughs> making <laughs> making <laughs> threats. No, he didn't threaten not to. Two trillion dollars sitting there. Come on. He didn't threaten not to pay Social Security. I do think what's interesting is that this debate has moved beyond. You have the fact that the House cannot pass tax increases. They couldn't under the Pelosi House either. So I think it's a little bit ridiculous to say that Republicans just want to starve government. I do think that we have a representative government for a reason, and the people are saying we are wanting spending cuts, not just raising the debt limit. There was a development yesterday where Senator Mitch McConnell put forward a creative plan that I think will probably be rejected by the House, at least initially. Um, it's not good enough for the conservatives, and I think that there's going to be... This will go that, down that, to that the wire. Be, well, they're that, not conservatives. These people are right-wingers. Let's put it what they are. And by the way, George Bush didn't scare seniors. That's right. What he did was saying, if we don't go into Iraq, we're going to be subjected to weapons of mass destruction, which we still haven't found. Bob, but leaving that yeah, aside... You, that is so ridiculous. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Why? And I've just had, about had it with r liberals who bring that up all the time, and it's just baloney. Go, and there are, there are so many... Uh, everybody had this same information. Even one of your favorite Did liberals, John Kerry, they all voted for uh, Secretary Clinton when she was a senator. So why don't we just take we're Iraq, off, we're, WMD we're off, topic, off the table? We can I want to know where the weapons security. of mass destruction are. Well, you know, they they what, whether they did or didn't, was well, America was certainly mind, safe between 2000 and 2000. I don't remember any terrorist attacks on American soil during that period of time. All right, hold on. Let's move I just on. I think we should use Dana terrorism out, as, a, as a leverage in the social right, security debate. Let, let, let's do this, though. Let's do this. Dana pointed out something very important. Um, uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell mm -hmm. floated an idea, called it a backup plan in case the debt uh, talks break down. And in it, he gave, they give, the Republicans give Mr. Obama uh, authority to raise the debt ceiling $2.5 trillion in three mm -hmm. tranches if he just go ahead and promises to cut spending. And, and by the way, he's not allowed to cross his fingers when he promises. Mm -hmm.